Good afternoon, gentlemen, and thank you for joining me today. I'd like to just ask each of you individually about your personal stance on the matter of an alleged invisible, intangible purple dragon living and roaming the northwest highlands of Scotland. Very well. No problem, man. Okay, mister. Please state your names. Yes, my name is Sean. Oh, you can call me Tim. Hi, I'm Edward. Very good. Let's start with you, Sean. Do you believe that there is an invisible, intangible, purple dragon roaming the Northwest Highlands of Scotland? Aye, that I do. For five years I scoured those highlands, seeking the cunning beast. And never once did I see it, but I found signs, tracks in the mud, broken tree branches in peculiar fashions. I can't say for certain, but I have reason to believe that dragon exists. Thank you, Sean. Now, Tim, do you believe there's an invisible, intangible purple dragon living in Scotland's Northwest Highlands? Oh, no offense to this guy sitting right here, but uh, I just don't see how anything that's invisible and intangible can be proven to exist. And uh, I definitely haven't had his personal experiences in life. Uh, I, I haven't seen the stuff that he says he's seen, so uh, I can't be certain. But uh, right now, until I find out more information about this thing and I actually see some stuff for myself, uh, I have to say, no, I don't believe it exists. Uh, how can you tell of something that's invisible and intangible is purple anyway? You can feel that it's purple! All right, all right, just relax. Now, Edward, you lived near those mountains your whole life. Do you believe there's an invisible, intangible purple dragon living in the Scotland Northwest Highlands? Um, I don't know. Uh, I realize that, sir. No one knows for sure. But please answer the question. Um, uh, I don't know. He seems pretty sure, and he has some pretty good reasons to not believe, and uh, I can't really argue with either of them, so, uh, I don't know. It's a yes or no question, you jackass. Just answer it so we can go home. Yeah, we don't need to argue about it. He just wants to know what you think. But, uh, I don't know. What conclusion have you come to based on the knowledge you have or lack thereof? It's nothing hard. You've had your whole life to think about it. Uh, okay, Edward, think of it this way. If you had to bet your life savings on whether the dragon existed or not, which side would you pick? Would you pick that you think it exists or that it doesn't? Oh, well, when you put it that way, I don't know.